Hi guys, welcome back to a new episode of BTK with RDC. So today we are going to talk about our environment and its safety. So without creating any kind of pollution, let's kick off today's video. Well, pollution of this environment is a big issue right now because this is affecting human life as well and uh, the reason there are things like air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution these all things are affecting us right now and who is responsible? We are responsible for all these pollutions and uh, there are many things that are the reason behind this pollution right? the, like factories or vehicles and all these kind of things one of the major thing can be electronics waste as well yes electronics waste uh, it, it, it looks small devices but 48.5 million tons of electronics waste are generated globally you know it's a big amount in electronic circuits if we see there is PCB and other components as well so the main material that is used they are plastic and metals and as you see these plastic and metals are not biodegradable materials so this amount of uh, materials or these type of materials are the reason for environment pollution as well so what is the solution for this we can use green technology uh, what is green technology right so it is a eco-friendly solution for electronic waste so instead of electronic circuit we can use green technology so to create the circuits and the main ingredient in green electronics is cellulose which is an organic material that is found in the walls of trees or the plant cells and that help them to remain rigid so cellulose is a very interesting kind of material because of its mechanical properties and it is very easy to functionalize as well so why we are using cellulose right in okay in my previous videos I have told you about printed electronics if you have not watched that video then check out the description the link is below you can watch that video so in printed electronics nano cellulose is used in the main composition of that 3d printing ink so why we are using that one because it is a kind of material and by using that ingredient we can create a material that is strong as plastic and it have the similar properties like plastic but the difference is it is totally biodegradable so instead of PCBs that is made of plastic we can use this material to create the circuits and instead of metals we can use silver nanowires or protein nanowires or graphene as well uh, in the components so this will not create any kind of electronic waste <laughs> researchers from university of massachusetts Amherst, they created a self-sustaining intelligent electronic microsystem using this green technology uh, so what is this microsystem is about so it will respond to information inputs without any kind of energy input that means it will it is a totally self-autonomous living organism we don't have to create give any kind of power or input it will we just have to create it and the whole life period it will work automatically we don't have to touch it again well this microsystem is constructed from a novel type of electronics that can process ultra low electronic signals that means okay for example if we want to create the electricity from air then we have to show a turbine in front of the flowing air then that will create the uh, generate electricity right but this novel material the novel technology that they created it will it can generate electricity from thin air like right here there is no airflow but if you will show that device right here it will generate electricity <sighs> well the key components in this microsystem are made from protein nanowires which is a green electronics material that is produced from microbes and this will definitely not create any kind of e-waste well this research says the potential of green electronics to create sustainable biomaterials as well and we can create all the electronic circuit using this kind of technology and for example let's see in a deep forest some scientists start doing research and they added some sensors and electronics materials after a month their, their research is finished so are they going to go back to that forest and get that sensor back no they will leave it there and that will create a waste to our environment so instead of those sensors if we create 
there are some protein nanoware based sensors and energy devices then that will run the uh, experiment as well and this is totally biodegradable if we left them there eventually they, they will degrade with that uh, uh, environment so all the kind of electronic circuits should be made using this green electronics and organic things as well because the way the pollution is increasing that is not good for us or good for our future generations as well so we should work on this field and we should create some new technologies to reduce the pollution as well so that's all about our today's video and if you liked it then don't forget to click on that like button share it with your friends and if you have anything to tell me the comment section is all yours and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you can get the instant notification so see you in the next one till then be cool walk smart